Look at these raccoons. They're so cute. How's it going today? I'm going to be reviewing um, an Obi-Wan Kenobi custom uh, mock. It's from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, which the final episode is coming out tomorrow. What? What? Absolute ding. I've been following up the series a lot. I have, um, I love the part in episode three where they go on this kind of weird transport dude thingy with a star nose mole called like, um, Freck or something. I don't remember. Like, his, he, it was, it looked pretty sick. So I wanted to recreate it in Lego. But all, I searched it on the internet. Please, um, weird transport speeder thing. Yeah, at least a million times. On the phone, on the computer, on an iPad, on a, an Xbox. No, not an Xbox. No, no. And, and I don't even have an Xbox, so forget that. Um, but I couldn't find a single picture. I had to use this, and the memory I had it from the TV show was so hard. Though... I only put one of the minifigures in there. There are some custom hair you cannot see. I have been working on this for the past two days and it's been like, it was really hard. Plus I'm, I'm gonna um, show you what I colored it with. Anyways, let's smash into the video right now. Some random music here, this is absolutely queen. All right, we have the um, weird transport thingy. You, as you can see, the only main figure you have is a stormtrooper. The dude, the stormtrooper, the, the people that do not have good aim. Just look at their eyesight, two centimeters, they cannot shoot anything. Anyways, on to the actual mock. I found like these bench thingies there. And I use a 4 by, uh, I think, 10. Two, 2 by 10s, which equals um, one 4 by 10 base plate thing. Plus this for the ladder. And there was an Imperial marking on the um, on a flag at the railing. Finally, Star Wars does some railings! Like in all of their movies. The Duel of the Fates. Everything. The Death Star, there's no railings! So, finally, thanks, thank George Lucas for the railings. So I use, anyways, so I use these antenna pieces to make the railings just easier, but it's still hard. I twisted them around because I didn't want um, inside here to be too cramped, so yeah. I also did a like this wing piece 16 by 3 3 is at the bottom and like no, 16 is from here to here i think or 10 i'm not sure but i covered it like 90 percent brown there's like an exposed stud over there and on the other side you can see i did something different by tiling here making an l tile shape and making this big thing with this it's absolutely weird and this dude you're going in the garbage. Poor him. Anyway, onto the front. The front seems like the worst part. I can not get the top right. Seriously, I didn't. I didn't own the Tatooine Obi Wan's Tatooine hut set or the Lars Kitchen. I'm not sure if the Lars Kitchen has um, a cockpit piece in tan, but I don't know. So I can just disattach this and show you the bottom, which I just put transparent uh, bricks just to make it even and not go toppling over. I saw vents at the side in the show, so anyways, the vents are here, and the other vent is right here. I used some slopes here and a custom design to make the trunk part of Fart, not the part. Here. And then I have a chair. I forgot. I cannot find a single wheel in my entire Lego collection. Actually, it's a steering wheel, so... Ooh, that's a lot. 
Anyways, um, I did not use a default chair like those weird Lego, um, those weird chairs Lego sent in the in sets. Well, like, what is wrong with you, Lego? Anyways, I used a snot tile plus a one by two, and this half tiled, half exposed, exposed with studs thing for the back. And the oval thing at the bottom. So, just let me put it in here. It's so hard just to cramp it in here. Though I put it here before I did the walls. Anyways, I used the, um, the, dark, the dish pieces in dark gray to make the, um, the thing that comes out the engine stuff whatever you want to call them and you can see i used a bit of dark tan for the bottoms or you call them dark nougat i like calling them dark tan just personal opinion i think this color is probably um one of the most useful in my collection out of all the other color parts this and gray and black they're just the three of my favorite colors in my entire collection. I barely have pink, and yeah, that's that's it. Oh yeah, and if you see, if you have seen this, you're wondering how did it, I attach it to this? Well, I use the Technic pins with like um, the half part on the top, which is perfect for this. I just found out actually today finishing the mock, so yeah, even better. It broke up one sec. I need to put it back. All right, and lastly, for the most anticipated part, the hair I was talking about you earlier. All right, so this is Obi Wan's hair. I also spray painted a Mia's hair from lego friends the theme just yeah and it works out pretty well i just need to finish it off then um i might make an obi-wan mock again with that hair and with the actual obi-wan in august and stuff because the sets are coming in august lego be more prepared we need the sets earlier yeah i just use posca pens and if you don't know what posca pens are let me show you in a second so these are posca pens all right great now it's spilled these are uni posca pens they seem pretty useful and they look pretty cool. They are pretty useful and they are pretty cool. Both of them. Check these things out. And the and like putting the lid off with one hand is super hard. See? They're like paint markers. The perfect thing in the world. Here I have black. I have red and but one last thing you have to shake them before you um before it actually works they start as like random white pen thingies i can show you the bottom of one well this is fully made but some of them are there's so much i got 24 posca pens I even got the special like gold and silver. Here's the silver and here's the beast gold. They both shimmer when you color. Oh my god, moi. <clears throat> I would love to be using these in the future. <clears throat> Just I'm dying to. They are so useful. And I paint a lot, you know, from my drawing videos and I will Yes, I will continue the Zuzu, Yole, and Dogman um, drawing. I 
started like I don't know in March. That sounds like a long time ago. The school year's over. I'm doomed. And uh yeah, it the time flies seriously. All right, goodbye. Have hope you lost the mood. Like and subscribe. Whatever. Bye.